You'll notice that going around this edge, uh, this thing has these little tiny um, tabs that stick up all the way around. What's nice is you can use these tabs with a ruler like this and you can line up essentially a straight line. So doing one line essentially where I lock in the back of this ruler to the front and draw that line, I go from that edge into the center and I do that four times all the way around. So this is a setup for four net pots, a larger three and a quarter inch size. And then here is six. All right, for the four inch net pots, essentially the outer diameter of the very edge is essentially 3.75 inches for the outer diameter, which is what I've got here. And then basically you have an inner dimension, which is where you want to cut this hole so this edge basically sits um, on the uh, edge of the hole that you cut so it doesn't fall through the hole. So basically your inner dimension that I'm using the hole saw for is going to be 3 and 5 eighths for the inner dimension. Basically you want to do about half of that distance up for the center point of the hole that you already have marked. So as you see here, I can just use this guide and from that outer tab I'm going to come over 1 and 7 eighths and I'm going to mark this line right here. I'm going to basically hit it with a punch uh, to start uh, each of my holes for where I'm going to have the drill. And as you can see, I've gone all the way around and marked this on those slots. This is for us to do the four, uh, three and three quarters inch net pots, essentially, so that we're going to have four of these per lid. All right, next will be the uh, six hole or uh, six hole setup or seven hole setup if you also run the center for the three inch net pots. Uh, another thing here on the card essentially, so the net pot outer dimension is three and an eighth. Um, the hole saw basically so that I'm going from the inside to the inside here is roughly a gonna be a three inch hole saw I believe. I could probably go a little bit less than three inches but we'll see. So that means I'm gonna put my center line at one and a half inch uh, just like I showed here from that uh, edge of the tab, I'm going to come out and basically go one and a half. Okay, this next step, we'll uh, make sure you cut this really cleanly. Basically start, uh, pre-drill basically a rough guide for this ahead of time. And then what I do is from where I countersinked in, uh, right in here with a punch, that's where I'm going to put the drill bit in. And I'm just initially going to get right through it. And let me show you what I did. So essentially by putting just the tip, I'm going to start this hole like this. Then what I'm going to do is the following. I've now put the drill bit essentially through the, the lid, so it's like this, and then I'm going to pre-stage so that I've lined that drill bit in right into that center hole of my template. Now I'm ready to drill. I'm just going to apply the pressure and cut through. By applying fast speed with very light pressure, It'll essentially cut through basically as clean as you can get here. Then I have a, a little couple edges that I can clean up with either just a uh, utility knife or what I use is just the edge of a pair of normal scissors uh, just to clean up this edge on both sides. Next we're going to drill a hole essentially for the power line. Uh, I like to keep it over by the edge near one of the tabs and then I just basically cut with a utility knife square from the center of the hole out to the edge. Before I forget, we also need to basically take off this, uh, this edge all the way around uh, because we're going to be taking this uh, lid on and off. We're not going to be permanently sealing it. So this uh, essentially lets the lid come off a little bit easier. And there we go. We have our finished uh, four-point lid uh, with the hole for the power cord. Next step is the aerator assembly of the uh, submersible pump. I'm going to use a 380 gallon per minute pump uh, for this new setup. I like to get one of these uh, half inch uh, risers uh, that is adjustable. So it's six inches on this end and then adjust up for the additional distance. Then I'm going to put uh, some of the thread uh, tape, um, sealing tape on both ends. And then we're going to attach a full sprinkler head. This is like, I believe, a Rainbird or a Taro head. Uh, essentially, it's adjustable, and it's a full throw head that I'm going to put on the top of this. 
All right, here's what it looks like complete. I've got the uh, pump uh, with the riser coming out of it and the full throw on the top. I'm going to set this in and center it into the middle of uh, the bucket. And then I've already worked this um, power right through the lid. I'm going to place it on like that. This is a gasket sealed lid to start. I tilt it like this and then with the heel of my hand I then press down and go all the way around or use a rubberized mallet and work it all the way around. Alright I've placed the water in uh, so it's essentially a third of the way full and the stem is essentially coming straight up through the center. I'm going to put my net pots all the way around and I'm ready to turn this on. All right, here we go. This is what it's going to look like. So you can see the water shooting out everywhere. Uh, that's great because it's essentially hitting all of these net pots simultaneously. Lastly, you take a plant that uh, you took in a starter and I sprayed it down with a sprayer to basically clean all the dirt off of there so I have a clean root. Uh, if you get a little on, that's fine. Uh, then what you do is you're just going to open up this... Uh, uh, neoprene insert and you're going to slide that in there and then what I like to do is line it up in the top like that flip it over and then line up the bottom like that okay that's all there is to it then I just set the roots slip them right into a hole set the collar right inside the net pot and then uh, stick a label in it so you know what it, what it is. And then you can stick this straight into the top of the five gallon bucket.